I realize that it has enormous potential. However, I need to be able to be more specific with this to be able to label it anatomy and physiology because more people will understand anatomy and physiology. Yeah. More people understand liver, eye, sure. and that stuff. And, and the fact that the earth has chakras in and of itself. Yes. I mean, you know, let's play it for the earth, you know. Yeah. Let's start from the ground up. Like, I'm, I'm hearing that and, and knowing, you know, that there's been studies done on the different chakras of the earth yeah. physically and how that could be quite profound in terms of healing the planet. Yes, I agree. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you explain the mantras with the CDs? Well, a mantra is just a vibration put into words. That's all it is. And it's, uh, all the mantras are in Sanskrit, which Sanskrit is a vibrational language. Like ours isn't, ours is an objective language. It, mm -hmm. it sort of describes the object. Whereas Sanskrit is a, it, it captured the vibration of, of uh, 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 a behavior. And, um, the rishis that figured that stuff out uh, sort of went into themselves with, with you know, meditation and came back with uh, the fundamental frequencies like that and said, you know, oh, you know what? They're they're based on this Sanskrit language that we've been doing. Mm -hmm. The Tamils are older, right? Is the Tamil order older? No. Oh, the same? Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's one of the Indian languages, but Sanskrit is the root language. Yeah, Sanskrit is one of the root languages. Hebrew yeah, same as Lithuanian, actually. That language, right? Is all okay, so any other questions on anything? Thank you. Maybe, Daryl, you could address what I asked about. You know, oh, yes, I, your question. You know, I experienced, you know, some healing in my spine, but now I'm feeling that there's other things off, there's underlying things that yeah. I wasn't noticing. Well, you know, by the time you get into your 40s, it's like you've, you've accumulated so many problems. It's like, you know, they get masked. They get masked uh, of what's important. Well, you fix one thing and you start, you start seeing the other things. Yeah. 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 And that's what makes life interesting. I mean, could you imagine being in perfect health just, you know, overnight? <laughs> no. You wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> well, how about yeah. in a week then? Yeah, okay, a week or a month. Yeah. Well, some people have acknowledged a healing the first listening. Yeah. But that's not perfect health. Yeah, that just it's clears up one of the, the symptoms on that. Yeah. Or one of the, the yeah. issues. So it's just, pretty good, though. I'd just like to share something that you said because you're talking about not eating and food not being healing. And I. I'm a little bit concerned about that because not everybody's ready to go to that level. And I think there's a preparatory phase that needs to come into place. Just the same as we don't want our kundalini all of a sudden to rise and we're not spiritually developed enough to handle it, which is a lot of the chaos that's happening on this planet, you know. So I just I just want to be clear about that because I know people might think, well, that's really great. I'll go stare at the sun now and not eat anymore. And I think you really need to take a deep look and and be conscious about making any decisions and choices like that. I'll at probably this point. go sun gaze yeah. and then go have a sandwich afterwards. You know, <laughs> you probably, initially, at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. big, big yeah. wheat sandwich. Well, well, you know what yeah, I'm you, saying. You I'm you just do the, do the research on it. Yeah, uh, I'm honoring right. where you're at and yeah. appreciating that, but I just want to say not everybody's yes. at the same level, which right. is why there's only a thousand breatharians and not right. eight million. Well, that's you what know? he was saying yeah. before, as far as it's a real spiritual um, practice. Practice. Yeah. You can't just go out and start yeah. gazing at the sun and exactly. for the best. Well, exactly. What we're dealing with here is really the tachyon sciences of Nikola Tesla. It, it ties to strongly in. And what I've learned is tachyon energy is very subtle. I always haven't been so very subtle in my life. So in learning to work with this energy, I've had to kind of tune into the, the subtle tachyon energy to be able to harness it and manipulate it and work with it myself. Daryl, how long did it take you to become a breatharian? Uh, I don't know exactly. It, uh, it just developed. I, mean, 
I didn't wake up one day saying I got to be a breatharian. It just, uh, I just stopped being hungry. And I, I forced myself to eat for a while, thinking that you got to eat. You know, I mean, I've, I've got the same training that you've got. You know, that my mom said you got to eat three meals a day. <laughs> you know, and I believed them. So uh, how long have you been a breatharian? It's been two or three years. Fantastic. And, I, and I do, I do eat a little bit. I, I guess I'd say more like a minimalist. I have some fruit once in a while and uh, a little bit of liquid here and there, but um, it's a fraction of what I used to eat. I know that um, you know, Raymond awesome. Grace did something similar for somebody he had on this videotape, and he only drinks water. He said every time he gets stressed, though, he gains eight or nine pounds without eating anything. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, I'm not skinny bones at all. I, I noticed that. Yeah. Well, his is 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 um his weekend next month got canceled because Irene kind of washed it out, but he's due to uh, speak at the um, the ASD um, spring conference at Leiden State College. So he's going to be up there. The people that are interested in seeing Raymond. Great. I had a quick question about cosmo your cosmology, because you opened up speaking how actually we were here um, originally to bring cosmic energy down to the Earth. So just wondering if you could talk a little bit about that. So, um, Alice Bailey, Alice Bailey uh, talked about that. She channeled that. Alice Bailey? Yes, she's a 18th century writer, and uh, you can look that up. Uh, Dizan, I think it's D I Z A N. It's a uh, book of Dizan or something. You just type in Alice Bailey. She's got a number of books out. Um, and uh, I've got the book at home. The name escapes me, but she talks about the whole history. Of it, of, of how we, how that that came about. Universal. Um, that that seems to be the, the most sense. Yeah. Uh, from everything that I've, I've understood. <laughs> I've tried to work with those, and they're okay. below the frequency that the Landoma can adequately generate. And they're, yeah, and they're, they're like almost sub-audible. That's why I wanted to hear these. Okay. Yeah. Because um, I, I was looking at it and saying, geez, this would be neat frequencies to have. Um, but it, it just didn't come about. A, a lot of... A lot of this stuff, they really kept me really isolated. Because they don't want me adulterating it with other people's stuff. This is very, very specific that, you know, you, you're listening to that unified field. And I think this is the only stuff out there that's based on unified field technology, yeah. unified field mechanics. Everything else is going to be based in other stuff. And so they wanted it, because I've, I've looked at other frequencies and said, you know, geez, this would be really neat to incorporate into mine. And, and you know, voice says, no, you know, that's, that's not, you know, just, you know, don't even try. So if anybody, it sounds to me like people here understand the chakras or at least have a sense of what they are. We have some pictures upstairs that we took. So we work with a wellness whole food product, a liquid. And we get to see the chakras change when we take this into our body. So he's able to stare at the sun. I'm not quite there yet. I'm not a breath area. Maybe one day. Uh, but for the meantime, this you're is something that I found. A food I'm a foodie. I would be called a foodie. And, uh, but just so you can see how things affect us, it's quite profound. At least you're not eating dead carcasses. I mean, you just stay with dead carcasses of plants. Yeah. <laughs> The plant, no, we're, it's we're, plant. we're already growing our own plant. Yeah. Oh, okay. plant. At we're least we're that far along. <laughs> That's a good and now we're working on doing it 12 months a year here on the north. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 ye
water comes screaming out of the ground. Oh no, 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 no. I just bless it and cut its head off. <laughs> just like everybody else does. <laughs> All right, enough. My understanding is that food grown indigenously around us is better for us because it's equipped by that photonic photonic energy, and, you know, kind of produced just for us. Mm -hmm. So getting that stuff shipped from California, besides the time that it takes to get here, <coughs> it's really not grown in the environment. Well, it's also it's pulled out of the ground before it's had its full force. Body balance and that's a whole other thing shipped from California because that is all. Yeah. So if you're interested in having me speak to your group or something, you can contact me. Uh, my information is on that CD. I use that CD as basically my business card. My email's on there. Website, phone number. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.